Alright, so uh, another quick explore, maybe. Of course, I forget my flashlight again. That's what happens. But, uh, yeah. So one of those drive by them, never stop in. Looks like the floor is going right down the side, right into the basement there. Everything's just caving in right there. Oh. <laughs> I don't know how well you can see it. It just goes. <laughs> Nothing's for dinner. Yeah, that just that just sank. Oh. Ooh, yeah. Scary sounds. It's like the nails are just holding on. <laughs> They're falling. Oh my god. Paperwork. Paychecks from 1988. That's always, uh, that's always, see, I can't even get back there. Holy crap. Mm -mm, that is not happening. I mean, like, the whole house looks like it just sunk. <laughs> Crunch. Now, if you're in the market to buy a house here in Massachusetts, they'll just say that this is a quaint house looking for a little TLC. I know this for a fact because I went to look at a house just the other week. And it said the same thing, and it was almost in as bad condition. I mean, it had like the pet smells and stains from just never cleaning up after your animal. It just, ugh. and they wanted so much money for it. You know, I'm pretty sure it's sturdy enough, but I don't trust that. I don't trust that. I want to see what's in that back bedroom. We zoom in. Let's see. Looks like it's just open to the outside. I'll have to walk out back and check it out. But yeah. Crazy. Good enough of any place if you want to just, you know. Chill out in the living room. You can call it a one bedroom. Just ignore the rest of the house. Alright, let's check out back. Alright, and here it is from the back. Let's see what it looks like. Ugh. Get your garage. Wow, it's like the hints, like the, just. Just the, the main beams just went, nope. But like it happened in more than one place though. That's the crazy bit. Oh, there's stuff back there. Let's go look at that stuff. It's got molly bars holding it up. It should be fine. Famous last words of an explorer. All right. Here we go. 
Hey, laser lips, your mother was a snowblower. Bet you can't tell me what movie that's from. Well, it's a good thing they were going to seal the driveway. I don't know what that is. Oh my god. Mag wheels. When I was a kid, bicycles that had plastic mag wheels were the coolest bicycles. And only the cool rich kids in the neighborhood had those wheels on their bikes. Everybody else had stupid spokes. If you had spokes on your bike, you weren't cool. That was also in the late 80s and in the early 90s, so things have changed. Now it's iPhones. We were cooler in the 90s. I'm taking it. This used to be the steps, which went right there. That's the hallway. And that is just not happening. <laughs> but there's still a timeout chair in the back. So, that's always a plus. Okay. You know, free twin mattress if you're in the market. Just, just saying. That's all she wrote. I can't get into those back bedrooms because, uh, I mean, I don't trust that floor. I'm no uh, inspector. I thought we could probably see up through this way. Can we see anything? Is there anything good? Nothing, nothing, no porno mags or nothing. All right. If there's a porno mag collection, maybe we'd go up there. All right. That's it. Nothing really to see in there. It's, uh, yeah, the whole place is, or at least half of it is just falling in on itself. So, nothing exciting. Nothing in there. But I've just been driving by it and wanted to check it out. I mean, you can hear the cars. The, it's right next to a main road, so. I, every time I drive by it, I just go, whoo. Because you, you just see all the trees grow overgrown. See you later. Thanks for watching.